Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like the content, please, please like the video and subscribe. It means more than you know. All right, we got Chelsea versus Brentford coming up at 7 a.m. in the U.S. this Saturday. Now, a lot of people would say that because we're playing Brentford, uh, who has won one in their last five games, that this should be an easy matchup. Yet, some of us just saw us barely, barely scrape by against Leeds. So what's going to happen? I'm going to give you my starting lineup and how we're going to win this game, as well as give you a score prediction at the end. Now let's get right into the starting lineup. Starting off in goal, it's obviously Petrovic. We knew he was the number one. We knew it when he performed amazing at the cup final. We knew it when Robert Sanchez didn't do well in midweek. Going into the back line, I am going to start Ben Chilwell, Levi Colwell, Alex DeSassi, and Malo Gusto. I think that is about the only lineup we have. Uh, the only other people you could put in there is Trevor Chalaba or Alfie Gilchrist, but those are like the only four starters we have. So majority of Chelsea fans, majority of people... Potch is going to also put that lineup out. Um, DeSauce has been underwhelming recently, um, so I was thinking about maybe putting Chalba in, but I think that's our best lineup, and Malo Gusto is going to have another master class because he was a little quiet last game, and the dude's never quiet for two games in a row. Remember that. Going into the midfield, I'm going to have a little bit of rotation. It is going to be... Connor Gallagher, Enzo Fernandez, and Cole Palmer. Now, there's one obvious big elephant in the room. There's no Casado. That is on purpose. That is not due to performance. If you watch all the Chelsea games, you know he literally collapsed after the last game, looking like he just got hit by a car. He is irreplaceable. We need to give him rest. He played 120 minutes. He played 90 minutes. He cannot play another full 90. Um, same thing with Enzo. I'm starting Enzo um, because I think he, out of those two, he's a little bit less gassed. But I also want to see him subbed off at the latest, the 60-minute mark. Um, I'm putting Cole Palmer in the pivot because I think that he played that in, um, a lot this season, including that first opener against Liverpool, and he was our best player. Um, I think him and Enzo already have that chemistry, so even though we won't have our solid pivot that we've been doing, I think they'll work fine together. Uh, going into the attacking midfielder role in the 10, I'm going to have Cole Palmer. Now, Cole Palmer, I think people are forgetting that he was very, very good. And against weaker opposition, he really was able to do a ton in the middle, creating and getting going. Now, I said it before Cole Palmer is our star boy this year, but he really hasn't played well the last couple games. I am calling it right now. Cole Palmer is going to score or assist in this game, and he is going to be back. I would put him there because, like I've said, with every weak team, Chelsea need to go for the jugular. We need to take him out early. We need to act like the game is only 45 minutes and win it in the first half. So that's my starting midfield. I want to know what you guys think, though. So I'm interested to see what you guys comment down below. Up top, I'm going to start out at left wing, Mikhailo Mudrik. In the middle, I'm going to have Nicholas Jackson. And at right wing, I'm going to have Raheem Sterling. Now, starting off, obviously, I said in my last video, Mudrik needs a run of games. And he's going to prove to us why he is worth $80 million. I said that Nicholas Jackson was a little underwhelming, especially in the second half despite the finish, but who's another striker we have? Um, I think having a good, strong hold-up player is going to be good um, for this, so that's why I need to start him. At right wing, this was the toughest decision. I was between Nani Matawaki and Raheem Sterling. And I love Nani Matawaki. I love how he dribbles at defenders. But when I really got into it, I thought, Raheem Sterling comes over a ton of criticism. I think... Rightly so. I think he's one of the most veteran players at our 
at our club, and he plays inconsistent as a 22-year-old, and you just can't have that. We need our few older players to be leaders. Um, so that's why I've been disappointed. But he played very, very well against Man City and scored a goal. He didn't play well in the cup final, but in the last game, he got an assist and played pretty well. He um, he also, I'm, I'm thinking about it, he doesn't press as well, but I think that at this point, he hasn't played a full game in a long time, and I think that he's well-rested. I think he can give him a headache, Brentford. So that's my starting lineup. Let me know yours down below. All right, time for my score prediction. My score prediction is Chelsea 3, Brentford 1. I think it's going to be a lackluster first half, and the second half, we are going to pull away. I think that Mudrik is going to have an assist. I think that Cole Palmer is going to score two, and then I think that coming in Cassidy is going to score his first goal for Chelsea. That's my predictions right there. I want to know yours down below. Let's hope they're true, or let's hope at least that Chelsea can win. Because it's going to be tough if we don't.